Right guys, so we're replacing this. So we take a look at the back and what we see here is normally open, right? So if we have a look at what we're replacing it with, which is a hive, let's have a look at the back. We can see three is open. We can see NC there, which is for number two. Number two is normally closed. That's what it's indicating. However, when we look at this one, it says NO, which means normally open. And then we've got CON, sorry, COM. COM means common. So let's have a look at this and find out what common means. Right, so common, what does it have in common? One. So one is the common. Okay, so we're going to put that common into one. And what does that mean for the one that's in NO? It means the one in NO is going to go to the one that's normally open. So we can see a switch here, which is closed to two. However, the one that's open is three. So it switches from two to three. So that one is going to go into number three. So let's figure this out. What else is missing? We've got no earth. All right. Do we need an earth on this? It's got a double box. That means this is double insulated. No earth is needed. So let's do this. Let's get this all removed and swap it over. So there we go. That's out. Same holes. Don't need to over tighten it. So obviously the neutral goes with the neutral. We can see it here, right? Neutral goes with the neutral. And then we've got the live, live goes there. Now we could link this and put a link here. However, they've already provided its own live to make the numbered section live. If we look at this here, we can see there's no connection between the neutral and live and one, two, three, four. So we need to provide power via the common, which is number one. So that is why we would either put a link between this live to power this section. Not all thermostats are like this, if you see that it's connected on this diagram, then obviously you wouldn't do this, but that means gray goes there. And that means this is the switch live, which would go to three. So there we go. That's the neutral and the live. Now we need to put in the common, which is one. And there we go. So that goes to the common. So that's gray and then black was uh, what was on this one known as normally open so we've gone to three on here which is normally open so don't get confused with the nc the nc is indicating that number two is normally closed but that means that three is normally open because as you can tell the switch is opened it's not closed on three it's open on three so there we go this is just a quick jobby Told them I'll be in and out in half an. I told them I'll be in and out in half an hour. So there we go. That's it. So with the hive, all we need to do is take this out. This comes on. Turn this on at the same time. It begins to blink. Now we don't have um, the hub with this one, so this is hubless. And that's going to blink, 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 and hopefully this will just start pairing, and that'll be it. That's the old one off. Okay, so I've come back. This is still going. So I'm going to hold down these two buttons here. It's the down and menu button. So it's a circle and the down button. It's going to reset in one, zero, done. And what I'll do here is I'll come along and I'll press this in until I believe it changes to like an amber or pink. 
can't remember. Or gray, I think. Uh, there we go. That's it. So now it's only looking for this. It's not looking for the hub. It's only pairing with this. So hopefully it'll find it a lot quicker. And whilst that's going, we'll put this on. Let's go. All right, let's turn this down and see if it shuts off. First thing that should shut off is that, and then the boiler. There we go, boiler's off as well.